loves, it's great to be here with you again. And today in this video, we will be talking about how to preserve the freshness, beauty and youthful look on your face with natural methods. This video is made for uh, aestheticians and professionals and just any lady who wants to preserve properly her beautiful, youthful looks. So if you're interested in this topic, please stick with me till the end because we're going to be covering this topic a lot. Very often, my students, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Elena Pahava. I'm a licensed practicing esthetician and also am master trainer of HPM, Helena Pahava Method Facials. And very often, my students are asking me, client asked me, for how long will results last on her face and these questions I have heard for all my you know years and years of practice almost 30 years of practice and now my students are hearing the same question and the answer is this for each individual person it's going to be different the length of time that the person will see the beautiful results of the facial however if you're coming to me or any of my students which means person that has been certified by me. I look after every student I have, whether online or in person. So if person went through my watch and my hands, they know that for you to be able to maintain those results, you have to rely on your natural resources. Now, what does it mean? When you come for my facial or facial of people that I have trained, after the facial, you are equipped with a series of exercises that will promote longevity of results from your facial. Internal resources means in what kind of shape you are at the moment, because keep in mind that internal resources can fluctuate from time to time. And you could be 38 years old and your internal resources could be quite low because you're going through traumatic time, you're going through divorce or you are going through stress at work and you can be 60 years old with very high internal resources because right now you have, you know, calm time of your life. Yes, of course, after you went through hormonal changes and after you went through menopause or you're in a perimenopause, like for example, in five months, you're going to be 50 and all the hormones started to really affect me and work on me. So in that time, internal resources take a little bit of slump down and it takes a little bit more effort to maintain results from the facial. The facials, basically, the way they used to be, only skincare, and skincare is really easy. Let me go in this video very quickly through the skincare portion of your looks. And if you guys will be interested, I will definitely address the part of the skin. Because everybody thinks of facial as a skincare, and it's not, it's so much more than that. It's fascia, it's subcutaneous fat tissue, it's definitely a muscle. It's definitely the bone that holds this whole structure. Skin is very easy. Skin works like this. Our skin looks exactly like fish scales. You know, it has a scales. If you're going to look at fish, it's like a, in a bigger version. And if you're going to look at human skin under microscope, exactly the same structure. Your job is the last layer of the skin, what you see right now, this is like already dead and dry cells and their protection of our underneath layer of dermis. So we have epidermis and we have dermis. It's literally like a clothing on the skin. They're already dead, they're already dry. They are still are like scales. And what you need to do, your biggest thing is to preserve the moisture in between those scales. So they would be plump and hydrated and protect skin underneath. As soon as your lipid barrier, and those are the lipids that hold those scales together on your skin, is compromised, you're going to have some kind of reaction. You're going to become too sensitized, or you start breaking out, or your skin is going to look dull. Uh, but if you 
really take care of the scales and they lie down properly and they hold the moisture in them, your skin is going to look absolutely beautiful. The wrinkles that you have on your face, if you have them already, it's not only the skin, it's a thin layers of fascia and muscles underneath the skin that go into contraction or they go into shrinking or they go into ptosis, ptosis when it falls down literally because everybody ages differently and every face shows different types of aging on itself. Sometimes it's combination, but there is a vast amount of different symptoms that causes even wrinkles. So it's a symbiose. Things are working together against us, but wait, don't get upset. We're going to talk about how to fix it. It's not that hard. Um, to as aging goes on, especially in perimenopausal and menopausal stage. So skin is quite easy. You need to use nice creamy cleanser, not to disturb those scales, not to bring them up, not to burn them, not to dehydrate them, not to take oils out of them. Make sure they're lubricated. Creamy cleanser, I don't care what company, as long as it's creamy, you massage it, you mix the cleanser with the dirt and dust and oils on your skin, remove it with a washcloth or a paper towel, wet, under the pressure, it's gonna give you a little bit of exfoliation too. Make sure you use a good hydrating toner because toner preserves the pH balance of your skin. If you use a good toner, you ensure the fact that the next product is gonna penetrate skin correctly. Use good moisturizer, you can use a good serum for your skin type, and then you can use masks even every day if you want to for your skin type. Finish with an excellent SPF and you're all done. Skin is really easy. Any good esthetician who um, has a good skincare line in her hands can fix your skin. Skin is not hard. What is hard, it was lies underneath the skin. It's the droopy muscles. It's the, the bone that loses its density and our eye socket become bigger and bone becomes smaller. Again, it sounds terrible, but wait, we have solutions, so please don't get upset yet. I will tell you, I will bring it all together. In the end, you will understand why I'm talking about all of that. So it's bone, it's muscle, it's skin, it's fascia, it's subcutaneous fat tissue, and when they end your nervous system and your lymphatic system, and when they all come together, this is what ensures and guarantees your useful appearance and not less important than that, how you feel. So when I say to people that how long effect of the facial is gonna last on your skin depends on your internal resources. I mean, when you take care of your whole body together. Now, when you come to me or any of my students for a professional treatment of the facial, by the way, you can find people who are certified by me on my Instagram, Instagram at Helena Pahava, go to story highlights and go through the stories and no matter in what country you are, my students come from America, Canada, Australia, some England, Scotland actually. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, you know, I bring more and more students there. Uh, some students are not ready to be exposed or they have too many clients. They're not ready to take extra clients. And as they tell me, they're ready, I put them there too. So if you're looking for excellent facial in your area, please go to my Instagram through the story highlights and you're gonna find my students. And I assure you, they know exactly what to do with your face to make it look and feel beautiful. So me and my students, we have a great recipe for the facial. What do we do during the facial outside of conditioning your skin? This is, this is normal, this is simple. We restore your body's natural, youthful function. We remove first lymphatic, extra lymphatic fluid from your face. We do lymphatic drainage first because 
lies uh, very superficially and we need to get rid of that to get rid of the pockets the second thing we go after is we working on fibrosis that stagnant tissue that locks together and no blood circulation comes there then we go inside the mouth and we take tension from the chewing muscles and then we do whipping up i call it but up the rash and tapament movements to bring your tissues up so it's a very precise combination it's a very precise choreography one move comes out from another to assure in the end a great results and results are wonderful of course on people that are very young they don't show as well because there is very little to restore the people of pretty mature age they take several treatments why because already a lot happened there and it will take more than one treatment to show you great results the best results are seen on people in ages from 32 35 till about 65 67. this is where we have best results because it shows on the face right away and face responses right away so again how long results last well it's exactly like gym if you are consistently working on your face and not only your face your body and your health in general if you have consistent correct facials and the best way to do it if you see that you really went out of shape lately is six to eight treatments once a week as a course and then to maintain them once a month not everybody can do it not everybody because of a distance or finances can afford to do it six to eight weeks on a row so you can do it even once a month you can do it once in six as once in six weeks even once in eight weeks and i personally have clients who do it once in three months because they come from very far away and it's difficult for them to drive two and a half three hours very often they come once in three months you give them excellent facial they restore all the functions and then they go home and they do what we agreed upon they eat correctly they drink a lot of water in fact the day of facial you have to drink a lot of water it's because you want to flush that lymphatic fluid that you started to move downwards from your face into your body then it goes into intercellular fluid kidneys pick it up and remove it from your body that needs also extra fluid so kidneys could do their job so if you exercise if you sleep enough if you drink your water if you get your regular as regular as you possibly can facials if you make sure that your nervous system didn't took over your whole being because everything shows up on the face when you're um, nervous and if you follow direction of your institutions as i told you if you come to me or any of my students you're going to be very clearly directed as to what needs to be done for you to maintain results that is going to amplify your internal resources and what happens results stick around and when next time you're going to see your professional you already look and feel better and then you build on that and this is how step by step you go up of course if you're going to do only one facial and then do absolutely nothing afterwards results will stay in maximum for a week but the same thing if you're going to go to gym and have one excellent workout session and with the best trainer and then don't do nothing for a week or two or three or five you're going to lose that result you're probably not even going to gain result we are very lucky because space is so much more and faster responsive than the body right after the first facial you see the difference you're not going to see the difference in your body right after the first session but after the first facial you will do but you will have to maintain it and as i told you estheticians that certified by me or any esthetician that you go to it doesn't have to be certified by me should be able to give you series of exercises and protocols for you to keep up the good job she did in a treatment room skin is easy 
take care of it carefully. Do not disturb it. Make sure you hydrate it. Make sure you cleanse this hydrating cleansers, God forbid, not soaps or anything harsh, because you're going to disturb the scales and skin is not going to lock the moisture per perfectly. So that toner moisturizer, as I told you, let me know if you want to have a skincare video and we can go to the depth and to detail about skincare. A bone, bone we preserve by lifting weights and pressure, apply pressure on your bone, not too much of course, but especially on your epicranial apply pressure. When it comes for the um, stagnicity of your fascia and um, when it comes to building uh, blood circulation and remove fibrosis, this is what your esthetician is going to do inside the treatment room and it's going to last you for a while if you will do the exercises that she told you or will tell you to do to maintain um, her good job between the facials. Maintenance between the facials is extremely important. And no, it's not only skincare. It stretches of the skin. It's your own self-massage. It's your own releasing of a tight chewing muscles. So there is few exercises and few rituals that you're going to need to do for yourself at home to maintain the effect of the facial. But if you will do so, face is such an appreciative part of your body, you will see results instantaneously. Face is also extremely nutrition dependent. Your face is vitamin dependent. Uh, your, your face is hormone dependent, really, and hormones are vitamin dependent. That would have been more correct way to put it for you. Face, I mean your whole body, but face like shows everything. is hormone dependent and hormones are vitamin dependent. So make sure you have a correct amount of vitamins and move a lot. Every time you move, you allow your lymphatic fluid from the face to drip down into the body and be removed through your kidneys. Move, work out with weights, drink your water, do your exercises, get excellent facials. And excellent is very important because just facial is not gonna do. But once you go for facial, you already know, you know, if it's a fantastic facial because right away you're going to see it on your face. If you don't see result of the facial from the first facial on your face, uh, that facial is not for you. It's just, you know, it's not working because facials are visible on your face, not only in your skin, but structurally right away after first facial. Yes, on a much older, much more mature faces, it may take two to three times to see dramatic result, but a little bit of result should be there even after first facial. And uh, take care of yourself, listen to your estheticians, and your question will be answered like this. As long as you're doing the right thing and following correct protocol, your results will last for good. So yes, hormones work against us. Yes, age works against us. And if you're not going to do anything, it's going to take over. So basically, look at your face right now. Look at your face right now in the mirror, please. See your face and understand it's not going to stay like that. If you're not going to do anything, it's going to get dramatically worse. But if you're going to do something very fast, it's going to get better. You have to choose direction in which you want to see yourself in the mirror. It's going to be worse, doesn't matter. Like you don't have to do anything. You can eat all the junk food. You don't have to lift your finger. It's going to get worse. But if you're going to make a correct effort, 15 minutes a day and correct healthy habits, you're going to get better and better and better results. And in your mirror, you're going to see a younger person. And in the end, I will tell you for women who are perimenopause or menopausal or even of any age um, 
one of the best things you can do. I try not to give any advice with uh, vitamins because I am not nutritionist, but I know that one for sure. That's why I'm talking about it. Milk thistle, either tea, tea is lighter. Milk thistle capsules. Buy, doesn't matter what company, buy milk thistle. See recommended dose, how many capsules you have to take from this particular company. Take milk thistle. It really helps you with the health and clarity of your skin. That the, the ingredients, the elements that milk thistle has cleanses the liver and uh, it really improves your skin because it balances your hormones. As that's why I mentioned, especially like 50 plus, all of us, the girls who are going through that interesting time right now, um, milk thistle has been very, very helpful. If you have any questions or if you have any requests, please let me know and I will answer them in the upcoming videos. I am back on YouTube. I missed you guys. I was so busy, but I understood that this is very important part of my job to have communication with you because I can have a longer format of videos with you in here and answer your things in a more details. Let me know what you want to know. And for now, I want to thank you very much for your time for your attention and I'll see you all in the next video.